Hello everybody and welcome to a very, very special video. Four years ago, as of September, I started my YouTube channel with the intent of becoming a Let's Play channel with a series called Leia Plays. These, uh, well, were very low quality. I didn't have a lot of um, equipment, so everything was filmed with that camera behind the couch as I played, pointed at the television. A lot has changed since then. It's been four years. I've become 21. I've entered college. I um, changed my major already. I got a lot more equipment. I got my own house. Um, all of that you can see about in my various vlogs and my blog and whatnot. But I decided to go ahead and do something very, very special. We're gonna play the first game I tried to play, but this time we're gonna do it on a computer where I can actually do it properly. Now, this is Might and Magic Clash of Heroes. This is part of the Might and Magic uh, series, which I've never played anything else of, but I really love this game. It's kind of a one-off, you don't need to know anything else, because this game is going to narrate for you, and you're going to know exactly what the plot of the game is. And that's all we need to know. This first video will be a lot of um, story and tutorials. This is going to be a pseudo walkthrough. Um, I may fast forward through the tutorial sections because I have played this game like seven times. So let's get started. All right, we're gonna do the campaign. We're gonna do a new campaign. Ashan is a world of legendary peoples. The elves guard the forests of Irulan. Knights rule the Griffin Empire. Wizards survey the deserts of the Silver Cities. And necromancers control the wastelands of Heresh. But there is another parallel world. It is Sheog, the prison world of the demons. During certain lunar eclipses, known as blood moons, the walls of their prison weaken, and they burst forth, plunging Ashan into war. During the last demon war, a powerful artifact was created. Called the Blade of Binding, it allowed its wielder to bind demons to his will. When it fell into the hands of a demon lord, it nearly turned the tide of the war in their favor. After the demons were vanquished, the blade was given to a handful of allies for safekeeping. These families of elven, human, and wizardly descent swore to guard it. But those who covet its power still dream of obtaining it. All right, so we are in. This is our story, and we're gonna start with the prologue. Somewhere in the ancient forests of Irulan, which is probably my favorite of the worlds. Here we go. I think there's another intro before this one. Also, I may skip through some loading times if they get too crazy and I don't have anything to say. Here we go. I hear them, Father. Heavy boots. It must be our guest from the Griffin Empire. Your ears have grown sharper than mine, Onwin. Also, the art style of this game is really one of my favorites ever. It has this very smooth animation that is gorgeous, and then these very high detail backgrounds. I, this is my favorite. Edric, old friend, welcome again to Irulan. Lassir, the pleasure is mine. Unlike me, your forest grows more beautiful with age. This can't be little Unwin. What have you been feeding her? I'm the hunter in the family now, Lord Edric. I feed him. This strapping young knight must be your son, Godric. I am pleased to meet our elven allies. Let me present my siblings, Fiona and Aiden. Irulan is amazing. Mystery and magic seem to peer from behind every tree. Big trees, big bugs, big mud puddles, big hassle. 
Okay, Aiden. Edgy teenage boy. Onwin, take Godric to the portal uh, to meet our friend Delara as Rafir and their daughter Nadia. Okay. Let's go, handsome boy. I will be skipping through the tutorials pretty quickly, but I do want to talk to every character. An uneasy wind passes through Irland this night. Do not sound so dreary, elf. Also, you will hear cats in the background, and there's nothing I can do about that. This is as much my house as it is theirs. Follow this path, and you will arrive at the portal, Onwen. You cannot miss it. Hey, Alonwin, the hunters await your command. Alright, so we got the hunters. I usually just call them archers, so. And uh, what that means is now we have our first unit. And it go ahead and we have three in three different colors. We'll get more different units later. Don't fear, elf girl. We knights shall protect you in any forest monsters come calling. Okay, big guy. This is a very long path. Here we go. Look at their cute little sprites. Is she wearing shoes? Oh, she's got these cute little purple shoes. I never noticed those. I kind of always thought she was barefoot, I guess. Greetings, Lady Delara. Welcome to Irlin. Onwin, so full of light, your father claims you can track a breeze and put an arrow through a bird's eye. And young Godric, son of Edric, you have your father's strength and your mother's intensity. May I present my daughter, Nadia? So this is Irulan. The texts and paintings I have studied do not do it justice. Lady Delara, we thought your husband, Azrafir, was coming. Yes, mother. Why did father not join us? Please lead the way to the delegations. All will be explained there. Wait, something is wrong. A disturbance in the force. All right. Woo! Let's go, let's go. Let's, let's go, I'm ready. Demons in the forest of Irland. Not after I use them for target practice. Let's go fuck them up. Oh, well, don't come to us. All right, all hellhounds, level one. Here we go with the tutorials. And there are a lot of these. So you may see a little fast forwarding. So this is one of my biggest problems with this game. Otherwise, I really, really love it, but you cannot skip the tutorial. So for replayability, it really hampers it. It makes it so that I've played this game like seven times and I've played this tutorial like seven times. Um, and there's only so fast you can go. <clears throat> and they go extremely simplistic from the very beginning. Um, which is, which can be great, but it's not. <laughs> um, I really wish there was an option to turn it off. However, there is not. So um, for these early videos of tutorials, I'm basically just kind of going to skip through these and try to get us to the actual action. And I will explain once we have our full unit and our full party, essentially. Uh, but if you do decide to buy this game, I may be doing a giveaway later in the series. Um, if you do decide to buy this game, I really suggest you actually read these um, tutorial segments. They are very helpful and they explain everything that you need to know about the game. But yes, I have been thinking of doing a giveaway of this game in particular once we reach... Um, the next city once we reach Talonguard. Um, so yeah. Oh kitty, no, don't bump the camera. Sweet muffin, no. Come on. I smell smoke. Quick, the camp is under attack. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Why is Godric not following me? Let's go, come on. I'm ready to fight. I ain't afraid of no demons. 
A battle, battle, let's fucking go. Alright, <laughs> is it gonna let me play yet? I'd love to be able to play. What you doing down there, sweet buddy? You wanna come up on the lap? Come here, jump. Alright, alright, oh god, I have to build a wall. Hello, sweet baby cat. Do you want to help me build a wall? Well, we already built the wall. Play. And each city has its own, or each um, faction, I guess, has its own kind of wall, which is really neat. The elves have these walls that regenerate and grow. Hi, baby. Make a blue unit. Okay, I can do that. She's pulling me down by my dress. Oh, my sweet, my sweet love. You can't see her, but there she is. Idle units. Now I have free reign, so we're gonna go ahead and try. We're gonna start with building a wall. And then we'll do this, and then we'll get some reinforcements. Cool. Alright. I like being able to see the enemy's turns. Sometimes you can figure out exactly what they're thinking or what they're trying to do ahead of time, uh, which will come in a lot more handy later. But in these early tutorial segments, it's pretty boring. So let's uh, let's. I'm gonna delete that guy. Um, we'll build we'll build this wall up. Don't really need that much wall in these early segments, but it's a habit. Yeah. What do you think, Teffy? Do you think we need some wall? I think we need some forces. Die. Yay! Alright, that was super easy. Don't lay on my cord. She's so cute. Alright, um, also, you can see that the units themselves level up as well as your character. There is an achievement, at least in the Xbox version, um, for getting all units to level 5. So I may try to do that. I may do a little, uh, post-grinding or grinding outside of video to, uh, to get to that level. It doesn't take a lot. Uh, this game is really good about progression. Oh no! Alright, Teffy baby. Stuff is getting serious, so I'm gonna let you go. Alright, this guy has a variety of units, as you can see. He has his imps, his demons, and his hellhounds. So, let's, let's mess him up. Oh, it's going to teach us another thing. Remember what you learned. The rest of the battle is up to you. Great. Cool. Let's go. Get some reinfopa. Get them all up in this area. Alright. These guys should be able to take him out. Pretty much on their own. Super easy. I like how it says the rest of the battle is up to you, but there is no more battle. This is a little bit handholdy, um, but this was great for me when I first played this in middle school. So this was one of my first real games that I really loved. I played this before I played Assassin's Creed, before I played um, pretty much anything except maybe Castle Crashers on a Xbox. So. 
This game is available for both Xbox and DS. Savagely, the attackers put the camp to the torch. Sparing no one, not even the children. Terrified by his sister's fate, Aiden grabs a nearby weapon and crawls away from the fallen heroes who tried in vain to save them. Zexies. <laughs> I would have come alone if I'd known they'd have children as guards. Gone. They're all gone. Father! No, no, this cannot be. Fiona, you're wounded. Come, children, we must hurry to the portal. I'll open a way to the Silver Cities. Silver Cities. But the camp, our parents! They are gone, and the secret relic we were sworn to hide has disappeared. We must warn others of the threat unleashed this day. All right, let's go. Let's go, let's run. Run! I like to work up an appetite before dinner. Mm, dinner, yes. Mm. Sexy's a big old jerk. Go. Go, children's. Go through the portal now. I will hold back this beast. Little boy, handsome boy. Mother! I'll stay behind with Delara to buy you time to escape. Why does the handsome one have to go? I really like the. Oh. Well. Though Delara's brave stand delays the enemy, it proves futile. And as she falls, a magical light escapes from her body and overwhelms Nadia. They say it in Nadia. I say it in Nadia. Uh, uh, what was that? Nadia, ah, uh, the portal is fading. Go through. portal. Wounded and terrified, they hope to arrive safely in the Silver Cities. The demons finish their bloody work as Anwen crouches in hiding, containing her rage. Waiting with a hunter's patience until the odds turn in her favor. Someone sent the demons to attack the camp. Someone powerful. Someone who knew them. Someone who does not yet have what he wants. And that ends the uh, first part of the prologue. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Subscribe so that you know when part two and all the subsequent parts come out. And be sure to keep watching. I think I will be giving away a copy of this game later on in the series. And if you guys like it, please be sure to leave a like. Uh, tell me what you do like, what you don't like, if you want my camera to stay up during the um, cutscenes or not, or whatever. So, or if you guys don't want me to fast forward, that's fine as well, whatever. I usually won't, but I want to keep the pace up a little bit. Thank you guys very much. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye!